Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Nigerian authorities have demanded Finland stop an anti-government activist. He has been stirring up tensions online while living in the Nordic country, including calling for a Nigerian region to secede. Nigeria's Inspector General says the African country is taking all possible efforts to deter meddling from... Simon is talking from somewhere in Finland. I'm sure uh, our foreign ministry and the NIA are looking into these issues uh, to see how it can be taken care of. It can be seen as an incitement, it can be seen as an uh, work of uh, uh, somebody who wants to destabilize the nation and so forth. Now he wields substantial influence online and has been known to stoke the flames of riots that have erupted in a number of Nigerian cities. He has called for millions of Nigerians to participate in anti-government protests in recent months. Nigeria has even summoned the Finnish ambassador to address the government's concerns about the activists. All right, let's take this further here on RT International. Now crossing live to former Nigerian presidential contender Adamu Gadaba joining us live here on RT International. Great to see you today. A very warm welcome to you. You've been listening to the story here on RT. I know you know the story. I mean, just briefly, this guy, Simon Ekpa, born in 1985. They say he's a Nigerian Finnish lawyer and a political activist. He's accused of essentially running a separatist movement uh, from his home in Finland, and Nigeria has demanded that Finland take measures against this activist. Why, why does the government see the activist as a threat, Adamu? Because, you know, what, what the activist is building on is something that started since 1966 in Nigeria when we had the first civilian war that is called Biafran War, when some generals in that area decided to want to secede. Then a civil war was ensured, and suddenly there was unity. But most recently, one man that was termed and educated as a terrorist in Nigeria, who is currently serving in Nigerian jail, Mr. Nnam Dikan, started the movement in the name of IPOB, that indigenous people of Biafra, to actualize the dream of that secession. He was termed, jailed currently in Nigeria. And suddenly you now have this man who is sitting in Finland, was able to leverage on social media platforms to continue to steer violence and encourage killings and destruction in that part of the country that have known no peace for so long time. Simon never leveraged on social media. He lived in Finland. He paid Finnish tax and do everything well in Finland, happily with his family, while causing trouble and making people here to be killing each other. When that happened again, he will carry the footages of the killings and publish on his social media handles. But, but, that is but why Mr. Garda, but, uh, sorry, I mean, can I just jump in quickly? I mean, do you think this guy, Simon Ekpa, is working alone? Because there are some reports saying that he may have a sponsor, but that claim has not been substantiated. I mean, what do you think? I mean, are we talking about a guy on his own or is he getting support from no, somewhere? There, there, is, there, there is no way you will disconnect the white ranging network of this Biafra movement across the world. It is there. But one thing that surprises us is the fact that he is living in a self-acclaimed democratic country, a democratic model, Finland. You remember that time that our leader used to say that they would talk about us internationally. You remember, right? You also remember our prime minister telling us that they will talk about us in each state and then they will talk about us in Nigeria as a whole. Then they will come and talk about us internationally. You remember all this, right? Good. It is beginning to happen. It is beginning to happen. Come and see how this international news called out Simon Epa and But the unfortunate thing is that they called out somebody who is our enemy to come and analyze the whole thing, all right? They called out an opposition, yes, to come and analyze Simon Ekwa. Of course, he spoke, or he will speak to the best of his knowledge and to the best of his interest. And that is what he has done in this video. He spoke to the best of his knowledge and best of his interest. As I used to always say, that most of those that are clamoring for one Nigeria are those who are in government and are benefiting from the federal post. Of course, if you are benefiting from somewhere, you wouldn't want to stop benefiting because they know that once this thing happens, 
no more. They won't benefit from anything else. They won't benefit. They will go back to their locals and probably become uh, an ordinary person. Or even their people may even pursue them because most of them are evil. Evil. Most of them are bad. Most of them are most of them are criminals. Yes. So actually, the man spoke to the best of his interest, and he was calling Samoneka all sort of names. All right. So I'm going to show you this video. There are two different videos. Please watch it where they are calling out Samoneka on international news. All right. So watch it as I always say: if you're a friend, thank God you're a friend. If you're Yoruba, if you're an Oduluwa. Just thank God you are an Odu Duwa person, all right? And if you're an Arewa person, also thank God and appreciate God for making you an Arewa person. Because in common, we are one. We are only being dragged and being dragged in the mold, all right? So, and that is what I think Simon Ekwa is fighting and Mazin Nandekano is fighting for all of us to get a better life, for all of us to live to our expectation. It doesn't really mean that if Biafra breaks up, that uh, other people will die or other people will perish. No, it doesn't really mean that if we have a breakup that things won't work out for other nations or other neighboring countries. No, things will definitely work out for Oduduwa people. Things will definitely work out for Arewa people. But what we are talking about is that people will live to their fulfillment. People will live to that expectation. Believe in me, 90% of Igbo people are living up to the expectation of having Biafra as a nation. And believe in me, 60% of Yoruba people are also living up to that expectation that they will have Yoruba nation. Right? So, I will allow you to watch this video now, but please, as you are watching it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And not just subscribing. Turn on your notification button. That thing will be like bell. Press them so that you get notified anytime I upload a video, right? So please watch it. Now let's take a closer look at Simon Ekpa. He is a political activist currently living in Finland. He's been accused of spreading fake news online and using social media to incite violence in Nigeria. Ekpa has called on millions of people in southeastern Nigeria to boycott the upcoming presidential and general elections and says one region should even secede from the country. Finland has reportedly described those provocations as unacceptable despite not having taken concrete measures to counter them. Our position is very clear. We cannot in any way condone calls for stopping the conduct of elections or any actions aimed at preventing people from exercising their democratic rights. Every individual has the right not to vote, but actions aimed at preventing others from doing so are clearly not acceptable. Now, we heard from a political analyst who says that although the Finland-based activist poses a threat to the Nigerian government, the elections will proceed as scheduled. Right now, uh, it's a person of concern to the security agencies, given the fact that it's outside of the country and it's inciting people against the government. And this is not the first time he has been making similar threats, uh, asking people not to go to work or every Monday of the week for some time now. His incendiary comments will be a threat on the peaceful conduct of election, but the police have said that they are on top of the situation. I don't think a threat is sufficient for the election to be postponed. As you all can see, the meetings and consultation with the members of the U.S. Congress continue to receive a desired attention. Our aim and objective is this multi-dimensional approach will at the same time be putting Biafra on the global stage, on the global discussion. We are not one with Nigeria. We are pulled apart. The ethnic diversity is a very dangerous one. And today, the Biafrans in Australia will have the opportunity to be briefed on some of the high-level meetings of the United States with the United States officials. Biafra will be the beginning of civilization in Africa. And that's what many people are scared of. But you see, like the Israel Prime Minister, we will win with or without you. We have taken the Biafra liberation to the global stage for the very first time 
since after the war even during the biafra war biafra discussion biafra issue biafra cause biafra case were not in the global stage the only reason that the biafra case came to the global stage was as a result of the images coming from the dying children in biafra land that was the only thing that put biafra on the global stage and when the united states of america was contemplating supporting biafra those that were in the leadership of the biafra then have no knowledge they have no contact details they have no lobbyists in the united states who could actually make obviously it is prophecy fulfilled all right so thank you for watching